Our next speaker is Mustafa al -Siedi. He is from Cardiovascular and Respiratory Sciences. His supervisor is Dr. Matthias Amrin. And Mustafa's 3MT talk title is Cholesterol-Dependent Pulmonary Surfactant Dysfunction. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming. Imagine you have a straw in your hand. Now bring this straw and put it next to your mouth and try to breathe through that. How difficult is it to breathe? Well, for some of you, you might not think it's that difficult, but imagine this was the way you have to live it for the rest of your life. I'm sure your life would be quite different. Well, this is the life ARDS and cystic fibrosis patients experience every second of their life. They, have, they experience difficulty with breathing, which leads to a reduced amount of oxygen in their body, and that is called hypoxia. And if that's not quickly treated, it will lead to death. This image here is of a, a lung of a teenager who died from cystic fibrosis as a result of impaired mucosal clearance, airway constriction, and surfactant dysfunction. Now the question is, what is surfactant? Surfactant is a protein limit mixture that covers the air-water interface in the lung. It helps to reduce the amount of work the lung needs in order to perform work, and in this case, breathing. Uh, low surface tension is essential for normal breathing, since breathing will be near impossible at high surface tension. Imagine our lung is like this deflated balloon. It doesn't take much for it to expand. But however, those who have surfactant dysfunction, the lung is quite different and it's quite more, less compliance to expand. So therefore, when, you, when they try to breathe, it takes much more work for the lung to expand. And that's why our lab have looked into this phenomena, because if this not get solved quickly enough, this patient will die. Our, our lab have discovered a specific mechanism for this phenomena in the presence of cholesterol. My work examines the specific inhibitory mechanism that deals with this uh, elevated level or even a normal level of cholesterol in the presence of different mediators in the lungs. This image here, the graph, is basically shows uh, the amount of cholesterol in the, in the surfactant. As you see, as the cholesterol level increases in the lung, it becomes, the surfactant becomes dysfunctional and the surface tension does not reduce to zero, which means breathing will be difficult. So my part of this project is to look and examine the molecular species that are involved in this interaction at normal and abnormal levels. And by doing so, we'll be able to give these, ch uh, these childs and children a chance of living and perhaps a possible future. Thank you, everybody.